if you have some proof that there was a God, that this God had one son and he made this son come down, get beat out of him and nailed to a board so that we could all have no sin. Do you have, can you show me some studies? Can you give do you, do you have a box of evidence that you can pull out and we can examine all the different pieces that points to the undeniable conclusion that that's true? Because if you don't, then it's a myth. Every time I used to hear accusations like this, I would be so set on trying to gather as much evidence that I could, whether that be uh, different texts or archaeological or whatever, it was never ending. But then I came to realize this. For a lot of people, it's not about the evidence. You can give as many archaeological studies or present scholars or even uh, go towards eye eyewitness accounts about Jesus' resurrection. It's not enough for them. The reason that it's not enough is that they have yet to experience the heart change that only comes to the transformation of the Holy Spirit. It's the inner work of the Holy Spirit that brings about conviction, repentance, and saving faith. It's not that they need more evidence to believe, it's that they don't want to believe. So I know you're asking, Isaac, what am I supposed to do? Just nothing? No, in these circumstances, instead of trying to present people with just more evidence, I want to target the heart and help them see their sin in light of God's goodness. You see, the Bible says that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and because of that, we stand before God accountable for our actions and guilty before him. That's a real problem that everyone needs to solve. From there, I want to take people to the good news, the good news of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, him buying us back from the bondage of sin and death, granting us eternal life, forgiveness, and new life in him to carry out his mission on this earth. I'm going to the heart. I hope you'll join me. Follow for more Christ-centered content and help support my ministry on Patreon.